friends, hi friends. I can't believe I just said that. I haven't said that in a while. That kind of felt good. Hey guys, and welcome back to another Stanley Parable video. I don't know why it keeps asking me for the time. It did not do anything last time. Also, I don't know why last time I said filming at 4 was embarrassing. Uh, because I'm filming at 3.15 today. I'm filming earlier. Ooh. Not 3.16. 3.15 p.m. Ooh. Wow, filming at a decent time. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Okay, what am I hanging on to? Oh, sorry. Before we get started, can I just say something? Sure. Thank you for actually setting the clock both times you booted up the game. Oh, you're welcome. A lot of people don't take this step seriously. They just leave the clock setting at 12 and call it a day. But you actually, but you're actually taking the time to set the clock and I appreciate that. That's how I know you care about this experience. You're paying attention. I didn't even have any way of knowing the time. Times your settings. What? What? I didn't. I didn't even have any way of knowing if the times your setting was correct. Tell you what. I'll make you a deal. Since you've been so cooperative, next time you boot up the game and see the screen, just set the clock to your favorite time. Go ahead. Pick whatever time you want. Even if it's not correct time, you've earned it. That's cute. All right, I'll get, let you get back to the video game now. <laughs> Thank you. My favorite time is 11-11. Because <laughs> my friend always tells me, like, it's 11-11, make a wish. And some of my wishes came true when I did that. So I'm going to choose to believe. Also, I don't know if you guys can hear the audio, can you? Yes, you can. Yeah. All right, let's... Begin the game with Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Edition. The end is never. I can read. <laughs> I'm trying to scoot because I, I read. So I move my monitor when I do webcam. Usually I play like this. I move it like this. So I sit sideways. So when I play, it looks like I'm kind of looking at the screen. Ooh, I'm fancy. Also, you don't know how hard it is to get webcam footage off an iPhone. Like, my file was 30 was 30 minutes and it wouldn't let me take it off by this the USB. This is the story of a man named Stan. We're skipping this. Cause I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, yeah. Welcome back, I got an achievement! Welcome back, alright, no, thank you. I'll take the achievement. So yeah, so webcam footage is really hard to take off an iPhone for some reason. Cause like, it was 30 minutes worth of w webcam. So I had to break it apart into six separate sessions, then go into my iPhone, through a cable, find the file size, locate it, uh, bro. And then there was still a relapse of like three seconds in the video. We're going, we're not going to do that again. Anyways, let's resume. I don't like the narrator after last episode, so I'm going to literally ignore him and just did deny him. And they decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Or turn off all the monitors because for some pe some reason the people in my office all got quarantined and now they like to leave their monitors on. Freaking weirdos. Tur turn off. Goodbye. You off? Off? Are we all off? Good job. Good job, people. Uh, no. 421. <laughs> office 420. Blazing. Alright. Ooh, 416. Door. 415. Door. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No. This was not the correct way to the <laughs> meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Uh -huh. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah, I haven't seen the employee lounge. Ooh! <sighs> yes, truly a room worth admiring. Fancy. It had really been worth the detour after all, it just to spend a few detour. moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. It is a beautifully Stanley constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Coffee? Can I get coffee? No, I cannot get coffee. Yes, really, really <sighs> worth it being here in the room. You know what? A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Of course. A dollar twenty-five off soda pop. Are you kidding me? This is the equivalent to the dollar store now. At this point, Stan's obsession with this room bordered on creepy. 
and reflected poorly on his overall personality. Hey! It's possible that this is why everyone left. <gasps> Are you going to try to blame them on me? Everyone went missing because of me? Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. Mm, yeah. When a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. You're going to try to pin all this on me? I am very offended. I'm very highly offended. Highly offended. But yeah, let's just go. All right. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room. No. And took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Won't even let me. It won't even let me. You know what, narrator? First open door on his left? Wrong. I'm gonna go straight forward. I shouldn't be flipping people off. <sighs> nice. Where the frick is this place? Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. It is incredible, but I'm just looking for my co-workers. Warning, do not, do not jump from the cargo lift while it's in motion. Will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, $1,000. Penalty for jumping off cargo lift, $5,000. Won't I be dead? Huh. There's a door over there. Door up there. Can I go through this door? No, I cannot. I need a key card. Alright. Guess... Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I'm I going, realize I'm, that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. I'm going to jump off. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone Whee! who... Won. Really? <laughs> I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration <laughs> for others? No, I'm just you. I just don't... I want something I... bad to happen to you? Yes. Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. No. No. After last episode where you claimed that the only reason you have a job is because your parents have money. Or... Show the clip. Show the clip. Is there a canonical ending to this game? Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That or with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> <laughs> what? Bro, why are you being well, so mean? Yeah, because of that? No. Because of that, no. What is this? 2B... Wait, B? 2B... 2B1? 2B1. To be whole. That balloon is annoying me. I see it in the webcam. To be two. Oh. Wait. B is in like basement maybe? It looks like it. Because there's like, a garage door here. Now listen carefully. This okay. is important. Uh huh. Stanley walked through the red door. No. Aha. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Um. No, I don't think this is a horror game. No. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. There has to be another. I saw it. Yeah! All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's yes. out there? You want to yes. find out what lies at the end of this road you've mm -hmm. chosen? Well, mm -hmm. don't let mm -hmm. me stop you. The mood has changed. And I do not like that it has. What, is, what the heck? You see? There's nothing here. What? I haven't even finished building this section of the map. Because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Oh, shit. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Kind of, Was it's it cool. worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Oh. Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. Okay. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Okay. This is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? <laughs> Work with me. You've given me absolutely <laughs> nothing so far. 
I want a game without you. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we hmm. were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. No. No. Oh, it's another development room. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new room. <laughs> Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I have <laughs> critical feedback here. What is this? Please reach your experience. Did I like having another door? D yes, I did. I don't know. It made me feel like I can say fuck you to the narrator more. All right, yeah. Aha. You see, I knew uh -huh. I was onto something. I like it. I like it. these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? Even though I didn't enter well, the door. It's instinct mostly, a calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I, I felt it in my soul. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with I this one. To stop. Let's take a look. All right, let's take a let's take a look. What the the Stanley Parable Worldwide Leaderboard? Yo, wait, what is this? In total, a lot of doors have been opened. So many more doors have been attempted. Endings achieved. Ooh, wow, there's a lot of endings. Whoa. Did you know that 21% of players skipped their intro sequence? Only the worst of 3% of players choose the blue door. Oh, no. That's me. How long does it take you to get the correct door? I'm in the last place worldwide. <laughs> oh, why not ask some friends for help? Error, friends list is at Oh. Oh, you're dissing on me? Is this a diss? This is a diss. You know what? I'm going to go through the right door now. Oh, it still leads back to the developer's room. Okay, fine. Would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? No! Honest answers, please. No, you hey, bullied I me. I forgot, I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? I Perfect. would. Let me build no. it up. I'm mad at you, because you made fun of me. I don't want- In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. <laughs> so why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? No. Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Okay, I'll go get my notebook. I'll go get my notebook, okay? Where's my notebook? Here's my notebook. bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, you. I don't know what to do. I'm completely you. out of ideas. I went to get I my notebook. Think I did. A single thing that might improve the experience for me. Taking I'm not notes. I'm going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Sure, let me put away my see. notebook. What do we have here? My notebooks are all over there. I literally grabbed I literally went to go get a notebook. Mm -mm, yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. <sighs> Listen, was not intentional. Never like I you told me to take notes. I had to go get a notebook. You didn't leave me time. This is on you. This is on him. Aha! Fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What the What's hell? our backstory? What is our motivation? Hmm. Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your Um, this Perhaps is weird. For some sort of what is erotic this? Purpose. Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating do I get jump? Experience I don't get jump. Mental depravity. So what far, is this? I love everything about this game, Stanley. I'm lagging. Sorry, we're going to stop you there. We're going to fix the lag again? Again, I have to do this? Listen, I couldn't fix it. All right, you're going to deal with a little bit of lag, and you're not going to misbehave, okay? All right, cool. Back. Even more. 
Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. The noise that made sounded like a Minecraft. Noise. I don't like the fact it sounded like a gunshot. Also, this game is so cute. Oh, I kind of like this. If it wasn't for all the trees and high resolution and the icky feeling in my stomach that I did something wrong, you know, I would actually like this. I don't like that I'm still the narrator's puppet, but you know, that's that's something I cannot be changed, nor... No, 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 it can't be. What? What can't be? Other people? It is. It's an open world game. Good God, <gasps> quickly block it off. Oh, thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. You nearly wandered off into that... that thing that big open just wandering around no right or wrong directions no path to follow you can just go in any oh, oh thank heavens we avoided it we're out of the woods now stanley okay i'm going to get us out of here let's find another game preferably something with walls something with nice big insurmountable walls <laughs> I don't uh, like him. Hey, I think this will be just the No. Thing. No. Revolt. Revolt. Back. 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 Oh, I took a screenshot. Wonderful. See, this is exactly This is what Rocket League? Want. Just a nice big box for you to run around. This with. is Rocket There's League! The possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game day. I love Rocket League! Stop. Okay. If you manage to get lost in this... Fun fact, Rocket League is one of my favorite games that I actually don't know how to play. <laughs> my teacher, my old teacher used to have this like really big like racing setup and I always wish we were able to put Rocket League on there. And then one time we did. A kid hooked up his PlayStation and hooked up everything. We were able to play Rocket League with an actual like controller steering wheel. It was the funnest thing ever. I love Rocket League and I love Splatoon. I am that person. Also, I like neon colors. Ignore the pastel, and ignore the fact that the belt on my calendar disappeared, which means you can almost see the date. Anyways. This game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Soccer, 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 soccer. Going to the goal. Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's see. It's soccer! There are lots of cars That's here car. in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Uh, okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley. I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. Oh, my God. We shall run the it bases and do a touchdown rock. together. Yes, I think surely we must. It says Rocket okay, League right there. Here's the ball. Have fun. <gasps> yes! <laughs> and it increased speed. Let's go! Rocket League! I'm so tiny! Are you doing it? Are you winning? Is this fun? This is very is fun. It better than my miserable little story that uh -huh. I worked so hard on. Hold on. What are you doing? Ah! I fell. Sorry. I meant to get the ball back. Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. Uh. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. That's it. I'm free. <laughs> I'm free from the narrator. What is this? Beta. Work in progress. Filing cat. Oh my gosh, this is the beta testing. Stanley Parable Alpha Test. Okay, so if you know me, I don't like horror games, and this is this is hitting the level of horror that I imagine in games like Half-Life. And I know Half-Life isn't a scary game, but I'm getting anxiety over this. Oh no! 
Next time I'll listen to the narrator. I promise next time I'll listen to the narrator. Because this just doesn't... Maybe the narrator was right. Maybe this is a bad thing. Okay, that door's locked. Okay, let's... I mean, it's kind of nice not having the narrator around. When things are quiet. I mean, I do get that empty list pit in my stomach that something's wrong. But it's nice. There's no narrator. No one yelling at me. Telling me what to do. I liked Rocket League. I didn't mean to fuck up Rocket League, okay? I just, I slipped. 427. Hey, isn't that my room? Isn't that my number? 427. Yeah, this is my number. This is my room. Coding. The, 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 that's code. That's... Okay, so that screen looks like when you use Unity and you're trying to learn how to map for the first time. Should I turn up brightness? Because I really cannot see. I don't, okay, I don't like this. I, mmm. Can I turn up brightness in any way? Oh! I can turn down field of view. That does help. Um, there's no way to bring up brightness. Accessibility. Oh, no, no, I don't want to do any of those. Sorry. There's like monitors over there. It's clear that this is supposed to be Stanley's office. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. Oh! I wonder if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy huh. cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Mm. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. Oh! That is what I mean to this world. Oh, Sorry. Yes. Didn't mean to yes, stop the I'll recording. Back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. You know what this takes me wait. as? This is the narrator now talking without Stanley. We just flashed to what the narrator's chit chatting about. The story can't. The story can't exist. What he's saying is the story can't exist without the narrator. You need the narrator. I guess it makes sense. Whether. We want to, be whether I want to believe it or not, the narrator has to exist because you know he's the narrator. He narrates the story. You know, it's annoying little fucking shit, but you know whatever. He exists. He's the narrator. Huh? You see, it's actually quite interesting because I never thought about the narrator's just a cocky bitch. Like, he knows the story can't exist without him. Doors. Open. All of this code Open. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? No, I was just Click being stubborn. Click five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such I can. Effort. I want an achievement. five clicks. Yo, okay. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Hmm. 
I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort from a noble cause. <sighs> Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. You forget. I was a Minecraft Bed Wars player at one point. Fifty no, clicks no, is nothing to me. Feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward. I didn't even know this was an achievement. Now that it is, I want to. Stanley, I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put twenty clicks into door number four one seven? All right, let's go find door number four one seven. Uh, four twenty. Four, these are all the 20s. Four ones up. Here it is. Oh, hi, train. Don't worry about me. I'm just trying to get an achievement. Ooh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. Okay, I know we're 437. So that's over this way. Was that door always open? Hmm. Okay, 437 is this one. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Uh -huh. Now door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. All right, 415. That's... Four one five. That's that's where it's where. It's this way because that's four one six. So I'm assuming four one five is yeah right here. Now back to door number four three seven. All right, <laughs> you know what? You you've intrigued me. I'm doing it. Oh. Not if my webcam decides to break. Can we, or not if my freaking camera setup decides to break. Hi there. Hi there. We good now? We good. We good. We good. Very good. All right. What door, was, what door did he say? I think it's this one. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine. Okay, this is the copy machine. All right. Back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. All right, all right, all right. Let's do it. Four one seven. Four one seven. Oh, uh, that is. Okay. Now go climb on employee four one nine's desk. Four one nine. How do I? How do I climb? Oh wait, there's a box. Yeah, here, here. Oh, there's a box. I guess he put that there on purpose. All right. Can I? Can I? Yes. This is great! You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. 416, 416. Uh... We've almost got it! Yes. Now the copy machine. Do that one again! Yes, 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 yes! Copy machine! <laughs> let's go! <coughs> <coughs> God, too much excitement. It's making me sick. Finish it off, Stanley. Five clicks on door four, three, zero. One, two, three, four, five. Yes! 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 Achievement! Oh, wow. That felt amazing. She did. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now? What were you thinking? You know what I was thinking? I was thinking I'm going to hit all the doors a whole bunch of times to see if any of them open. But you know what, Mr. Narrator? I like you. You know, it took seeing an ending where I got really scared because the tone of the thing shifted. But I like you. Still can't do it again. Well, I'm going to listen to you. You know what, Narrator? I believe now that you've given me something, the achievement, I see, you know, you're not evil. You're just a narrator. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I'm going to go on the left. I'm listening to you, narrator. You know, like you said, there is no story without you. So why not listen? Sorry, the door didn't have a number. Thought it was a sign. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Sorry. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. See? I'm listening. I'm listening. I had to go in there for love's sake. 
Coming so, to a staircase, uh, Stanley walked upstairs okay. to his boss's office. Well, I will do it. I will do it. I will listen to you. I'm still going to go to the loo, though. See if I can maybe wash my hands this time around. Can I? Nope. Whoa, wait, this is different. I got this feeling. Money for stealing. But not yours, of course. Hey, that's a lovely purse. Maybe it's changing because I'm listening to the narrator. Narrator's like, hey, you've earned it. Stepping into his manager's office, mm -hmm. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. No one around! So, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret know. was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the mm -hmm. boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. What's the numbers? And so the boss had assigned it an extra, extra secret, secret pin, pin number. number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. But he did. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened Ooh. to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Yeah. And let's go down. You know, narrator, I'm listening to you. Some something is telling me that you and I are gonna be friends. Very, very good friends. Standing deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Okay, listen, Why webcams. Feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. Listen, the webcam's going to be off for a little bit. Uh, and this is because I uh, <laughs> ran out of storage on my phone for filming. Are we good? Can I, can I film again? Hi. We went beyond five seconds, so you know what I can or ten seconds, so I consider this a win. Let's keep going. Uh, let's hope it doesn't stop again. All right, let's keep going. I'm like constantly looking back at the Stanley webcam now. Stanley straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I'm listening to you, narrator. Couple glitchy textures, but okay. What does that say? I can't read it. it. Looks like binary. Let's click it. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible <gasps> secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. No, I thought about how many good football games we could watch if we just did this. No, I, I, I don't want to. All right, well, I guess, I guess we're listening to the narrator. Okay. Another button that says cameras. Now the monitors jumped to life. They're fired. Revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images oh. on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Employee 426? 427? Four, four 427, I think that's mine. I think it's mine right there. Huh. Four, three, four is messed up, if you saw that. There's some up there. Fired is f 101, 102. Oh, no, 104 is fired. So his office is- oh, and that one's fired too, Jesus. A lot of people got fired. But no one is there. What could this mean for Stanley? Hmm. Elevator? Sure. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? 
I have no idea. No. He refused to believe it. No, I can't jump off. His own I mean, oh yeah, no, I'm listening to control. Never. <sighs> it was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? He's in someone else's control. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Huh. Maybe in a minute. Let me look around. This is a little pit. It's just a bridge to go under to the other side. Okay. I was hoping I could jump in there. Alright. Let's go dismantle it once and for all. Let's do it. That was pretty cool how I got to play Rocket League. And that when was at very last cool. He found the source of the room's power. He knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Now, do I want to listen to the narrator? I, I said I would. I got this far. I might as well stick with it. Whoops. I broke it. I broke the game. I broke the game. Genuinely. Or not? Blackness. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Yeah. Was it over? Was it? I don't know. I can't move, so. Yes. <gasps> he had won. He had defeated the machine. Oh, I can't move. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Yeah. He was mere moments away. Yeah. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? That is true. How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? That's even more what true. What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. Oh. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. That's hypocritical, don't Whatever you think? Because you know is, you're the you're the narr you're. His. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. I guess the narrator, you know, did have something good for us. A life of freedom, where a narrator still tells us what to do. I feel like it's a little hypocritical, don't you think? Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. <sighs> the feeling of liberation. I wish I could feel cool breeze. The of the new path before him. But it's like, this was exactly God, it's windy outside. <laughs> right now, the things were meant. <sighs> outside! And, and not in a hot-ass studio, which also gets randomly cold. Okay, my bedroom. I like how I call my bedroom a studio. I don't know why I do it either, people. Achievement unlocked! Beat the game! I did it! Woo! Two achievements today! Let's go! Very proud of myself. Clap and a half for me. If you don't know where that's from, that's from Game Theory. Um, a GT Live, specifically. Uh. Listen, I saw their most recent stream on Poppy Playtime, and ever since then, I've just been like, you know, clap and a half for me. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. I'm going to Perhaps the broom closet. Simply missed a memo. I'm ending the episode in the broom closet. Listen, when it's like Stanley a tradition. Came to a set of two open doors, he, he entered, entered the, the door, door on his left. left. To go find the broom closet. Once Stanley finds the broom closet, he ends the Yet episode. Not a single person here either. 
Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to mm -hmm. be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. Well, you guys know the drill by now. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated. So far, we've gotten like three, four maybe different endings and a couple of achievements. So I am going to do the me thing and look up a walkthrough to try to unlock the Stanley Parable Deluxe Edition, what comes with the Deluxe Edition, because I don't know. I was told there's new content, and judging by the achievements, there is new content. I just need to somehow uh, find it, so I'm going to look up a walkthrough to kind of help this series progress. If not, we're going to be here for like another 20 episodes before we get the new content, because in between episodes, I did look, and I did find out that there is a whole bunch of like stuff in the original game and then you get more stuff in the cut so yeah i'm gonna do a little bit of a walkthrough and i'm gonna find all the stuff and i will record it when i you know show you guys but i do need to get the walkthrough so for now that's it for me thank you all so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it make sure you like comment and subscribe that'd be greatly appreciated check out all my socials in the description box below and uh yeah that's it for me thank you all so much for watching and i'll see y'all wednesday goodbye everyone you know this makes me wonder how many endings are there in Stanley Parable? Because I technically got the end, but like I got another ending earlier and another ending before that. So like, which one's the true end? Huh.